Good morning. It is Monday. Uh, Monday fun day at work, so we're wearing pink to celebrate breast cancer awareness or cancer awareness. I think it's breast cancer awareness. Anyways, I'm going to wear pink nails on and everything. Uh, anyways, today the smoothie I'm going to make is an old time favorite of mine, um, but I'm going to be substituting. I, I used to make it with fresh mango, and of course it's not mango season anymore here in Massachusetts, so I'm going to use some frozen mango. We'll see what it tastes like, see how it comes out. Um, so I'm going to start, as always, with my liquid. I'm going to be using some coconut water. And as you can see, I did some alternate rebellion this weekend, and I dyed my hair. It's supposed to be silver, but it came out with a little bit of a purple, like a lilac hue, but I actually kind of like it. So I'm going to go with it. I'm going to add about, let me see, yeah, big handful of spinach, that should do it. Um, I think I used to add two, but I'm going to start with one. I can always add more. Oops, and I forgot my spoon. I'm going to add, let's see, this is the um, Okito's uh, Vanilla Yogurt. This has got the um, 17 grams of protein. Um, I do prefer the Pro, but I haven't seen the Pro in vanilla in some time, so I'll have to make do with this. I think the Pro is like 23 grams of protein, um, and it's a lot thicker too. So anyway, I'm going to add, let me see, I'm going to add three heaping spoons. Did you see how big those heapings were? I love the vanilla yogurt. Um, and across the mango, so I don't know how much of this is a mango is one full mango. It says two servings, so I'm going to use half of the uh, packet there. I'm going to add a little bit more of my coconut water to get that in there. And I think with the frozen uh, mango, it's going to make it nice and cold, so that'll be nice too. And I'm going to add some cinnamon. Love the smell of cinnamon, don't you? Okay, so let's blend this up and see. I used to make this all the time, like I said, with fresh mangoes. But actually, the frozen mango makes it a heck of a lot easier because, as you know, if you try cutting up a mango, it's not the easiest thing. Like just right in order to get the skin off. Oh, this looks beautiful. I love this color green. It's like a lime green. Okay, I think it's pretty much chopped up. Let's get this a whirl. Oh, perfect thickness, too. Not too thick, not too loose. Ooh, that is yummy. It's a little bit different taste than the one with the fresh, but really, really cold and really, really yummy. Um, excuse me. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you remember to let the people that you love know that you love them. Send them that text. Give them that call. Uh, for those of you that are like me, like a perfectionist, I heard a, um, uh, a line the other day, uh, one of my audibles, and it said, you know, a lot of times we have this um, connotation with uh, good enough, right? So good enough, I know with Brene Brown, she used to say I'm a good enoughist. And I kind of liked that, but it has this connotation of uh, falling short or just being sloppy or not, you know, not really trying your best. And so what I heard the other day was um, someone that said enough good. And I really liked that. So today I hope you realize that you are enough good. Until next time, guys, stay blessed. Oh, if you like my videos, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. And you can follow me on Facebook. I've got a lot more uh, different content on recipes and just meditations and other uh, things out there for you to enjoy. Stay blessed. Until next time, peace.